The dash cover, I found it at, I was lucky because I found it at the, at the junkyard. No and, way. Yeah, it was wow. in an RT wagon and a red one. But that was like uh, two, three years ago when I found it. And it's still looking it's, good though. It's two pieces. Not like the ones, that, well, it's still the same, but it's like, this is like the old school style. Mm -hmm. I like it that way. It's two pieces. You can take this piece and leave the other one on. That was, that was a good day at the young kid, huh? Yeah, yeah, that was a good day. I'm assuming they're very hard to find. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, welcome back to Automotive Anatomy. And today I'm with Mr. Jose. Jose, he's a beautiful car. Thank you so much for making time for us, man. Thank I truly really appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, so tell us, man, what do you drive? Well, here it is. I drive a 1989 Honda Civic wagon. Civic. It's not a station wagon. It's, uh, well, I mean, it's a station wagon. It's not a wagon van, because the wagon van is the 88. Oh, okay. It's an 89 station wagon. So how long have you had it for? Well, it has been like maybe Four years, I think. Four to three years already. Okay. Yeah. And still with me. And where did you pick it up from? I picked it up on Riverside. Okay. Thanks to my, my friend, EFA. He oh. was the one that hooked me up. He found it for me. We went to pick it up and we got it. And 700 bucks. Oh, wow. Not bad. <laughs> 700 bucks. Wow. Nice, nice. Not bad. And then this is not a new car for you. How many wagons have you owned? Well, actually, this is going to be like my... 15 or 16 wagons. <laughs> There's been a lot of wagons on me. I used to buy them and sell them. Fix it up here and there and sell them. But I think this is the one that I actually like more because it was pretty clean. The body was pretty straight. Mm -hmm. There was not too much work on it. And well, here it is, my masterpiece. And your masterpiece because yeah. your job is... Yeah, my job is doing body work and paint. And um, well, here it is. There's a, I got a lot of customers, you know, a, a lot of my friends, and mm -hmm. you know them. Shout outs to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's get started in the front of the car. Uh, what do you got going on? Well, I got a um, really rare and hard to find 88 to 89 headlights, JDM. And um, I got everything like complete. I installed the lip that I actually made myself. It started like Deprecating all the lips. That's my lip right there. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, and um, I got some Japan badges. I got the Mexico one because I'm a paisa. <laughs> <laughs> Makes two of us. Well, I don't have HIDs. Everything is OEM. I like to have it OEM. Yeah, like the OEM style. Style. I even have the 89 um, bumper lights. They're okay. orange, the amber, and uh, the 91s are clear. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's I like to have it like that. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then what color? Uh, it's a silver. You said it just. Uh, uh, I got it from a uh, Mercedes. Okay. That's the color code that I got, and um, I actually like it because before it was blue. Mm -hmm. It was blue, original blue, and um, I replaced the the whole like, interior. I I went to gray to match my outside paint, mm -hmm. and I like the silver one because I don't see any silver wagons around. Okay, it looks very, very, very clean, especially with the fishbowl look. Yeah, I like it. Is. Uh, let's talk about your tire setup. Well, the tire setup, I got Federals on the front. I got the 165, 50, 15. That's the tire. And the rim is a uh, SSR uh, spinners. And um, they're like 15 by 7 mm -hmm. on the front with the 5, five uh, plus. Okay. Offset? Offset. Yeah, offset. Okay. And then the back, where are they? And the back are like, uh, they're 15 by, uh, the tire is different. This one is 175, 50, 15, and it's 15 by 7 and a half, uh, 5, neg uh, the offset, negative. Okay. Negative 5? Negative five. the offset. Yeah. Okay, and so definitely offset. more aggressive. Yeah, more aggressive. Oh, okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And so, well, I like to have it like uh, everything OEM, like I said, like, uh, the door handle is supposed to be black, but I left I, I left the silver either the side skirts too. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to go black, but I think I like the I, I, I like the style of how it looks. Right. Even the mirrors just, just they're supposed to go black, but mm -hmm. I painted silver. I, I left this one black mm -hmm. to try to like make a different look on it. Right. And um, I like it like that because I like the way the molding match like all, all around. Mm -hmm. It matches the the window the way, trim. The window trim and everything else okay yeah. cool 
How about in the bag? You just got the muff flaps. I got the muff flaps, but, but they're not like from this one. The, this one's the one that I have is for uh, the all wheel drive, the RT. Mm -hmm. But since mine is not RT and especially they're kind of hard to find, right. the, the OEM ones, I just got those and um, I put it on and I think they look okay. They look nice. They yeah. look nice, yeah. And um, I got the blinds from my, my friend uh, EFH. Mm -hmm. I got the blinds from him. And um, old school sign, I got it made too. And I think that's about it. That's about it for the yeah, exterior. Yeah, and, and the exterior. So I, I like to have like everything OEM. I have the JD, uh, not the JDM tail lights, it's the, the OEM ones, the US. Okay. US tail lights. Wow. Super clean, man. Thank you. How long have, uh, how many years did you paint it, you said? Uh, it's been like, I think, yeah, like three years already. Three years? Three years already painted. So Sweet, man. I'm planning to maybe go like a different color now, or maybe leave it like that, but I may, I'm still thinking on that. Undecided. Still thinking on that. Sweet, man. Like, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Why, right? Why, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why change the color? So I think I just keep it like that and just like, like fix the little details here and there. And mm -hmm. That's it. Cool. Okay, on the interior, as you guys can see, everything is gray. Before it was blue. I replaced door panels, and uh, you can still see my carpet and uh, the, uh, the the things on the door that they're still blue. But I'll I'll, I'll do that. Like it's still high. Like I said, it's still kind of hard to find. Mm -hmm. I got the Vigo floor maps, the Nardi steering wheel, and uh, now I got the stock radio too. Got an armrest center console and you like the stock radio right yeah yeah i like the stock you radio. want the oem kind of feel yeah and i i got a piece on the the roof on the glass on the, on the rear mirror on top where you can put like your glasses i got another set of glasses right here as you guys can see and those my, are the little japanese yeah um, little japanese things here and there i got my sombrero from mexico and my my flag. Wow, just keep it very clean. Yeah, I try to. Where'd you get these uh dash cover? The dash cover, I found it at. I was lucky because I found it at the, at the junkyard. No and way. Yeah, it was wow. in an RT wagon and a red one, but that was like uh, two three years ago when I found it. And it's still looking it's, good it's though. It's two pieces, not like the ones. That, well, it's still the same, but it's like this is like the old school style. Mm -hmm. I like it that way. It's two pieces. You can take this piece and leave the other one. On. That was that was a good day at the young kid, huh? Yeah, yeah, that was a good day. I'm assuming they're very hard to find. Oh yeah, 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 super hard. Oh, okay. And then the cup, a holder. Uh, the cup holder, uh, it was a gift from my friend that he just gave it to me. He's like, "Hey, uh, I think this this will go good on your car." Uh -huh. Plus, I have the the sunroof because I might do a sunroof in in the in the future. <laughs> but I have the switch, everything is ready just to do the, the sunroof. I got the sunroof too, but You're I'm gonna just, cut it. Oh I'm gonna God. cut it. I'm still thinking and cut it. Wow. It's crazy. You might open up that thing. Yeah. And then on the back, as you guys can see, everything is gray. Kind of hard to find, but it's, it's there. I got everything. I got the big old floor, uh, complete floor maps and um, the seats. They're like pretty clean, I think. Yeah. Still need little detail here and there, but I think it's overall it's, it's really good. Yeah. All right. So tell us about the motor, man. I mean, it's still the original color that when you first got the wagon. Yeah. As you guys can see, the engine bay is still blue, but that's my next step that I'm gonna do like later on. I'm gonna repaint the whole motor, take this motor out. I'm not going B series or nothing. I'm just gonna leave it stuck, but I just wanna clean everything out. Okay, you're gonna go with silver or a different uh, color? I'll, I'll, I'll stay silver. I'll go, I'm gonna go the same color on the inside, but that's in the future. I'm not worried about that right now. Has it been reliable? Yeah, everything's good. Gas saver and everything, so. What do you get, like 30 miles per gallon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's. I don't even get 30 miles per gallon walking. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so there it is. I, I don't even have time to work on the motor right now. I'm just like more on the outside and up since the car like taking me here and there to point a to b i think that's fine to me right for now yeah, yeah for now down the road and yeah. then on, like later later 
I'm probably gonna go like show quality, maybe like do the motor thing, like. But like I said, I'm not going to be serious or mm -hmm. K series. I'll leave it like that, but I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit okay. here and there. That sounds good, man. That's awesome. What kind of suspension do you have? I got the function form. Function and form? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're pretty slim because you scraped all yeah, the I way saw, here. I, yeah, I saw all the way down. <laughs> Wait, man, any shout outs? Oh, I wanna do shout outs to all my friends, Steve, 64, and um, Babes, Carlos, Nocturno, El Changarro, Jesus, Ortiz, my brothers, Benjamin, Vigo Right Hand Drive, my brother, Aaron, Honda Builder, and um, everything that they know me. Everybody that knows Everybody you. that knows me. From Cali's Finest. Cali's Finest. That's, that's how you find me at, at, the, at the Instagram. Oh, uh, okay. And Facebook is my name, Jose. But uh, on Instagram, there it is, Cali's Finest. Cali's Finest. Well, Jose, thank you so much for making the no, time for us, man. Me. I mean, this is an amazing wagon, and uh, uh, I can't wait for the bug. Maybe we'll do another interview with you once the bug is done, because I know you're doing like a whole restock, yeah, resto yeah, mod on yeah. that. So that one is in the early stages, but this one, like you said, you have an eye of a perfectionist, yeah. and uh, it it's beautiful as it is, but I can't wait the, the future steps that you're going to take it to. Yeah. So thank you so much, Jose, and uh, I can't wait for the future for these. <laughs> that's uh, funny yeah, it doesn't fit because the jdm headlight uh -huh. it's different it's like longer so this thing's supposed to go right here but it doesn't fit <laughs> hey as long as you have the headlight who cares yeah, about yeah. everything else right yeah, the car yeah, can yeah. overheat it doesn't matter yeah <laughs>